Good morning. We welcome you to St. Joseph's Episcopal Church with open arms and open hearts. Please be reverent while we worship. We encourage you to fully participate in our service with responses and song, but ask that you do so with your device muted. Please use the chat to add your prayers, thanksgivings, and petitions so that we may include them in the service. Thank you. Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices who wondrous things has done in whom this world rejoices who from our mother's arms has blessed us on our Good morning and welcome to everyone to welcome to St. Joseph's. This morning, our voice of the people is Nicola Walker. Um, as always, if you have any prayer requests, do place it in the chat room before the sermon. Thank you.
Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Dear, but dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Father, to set forth his praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others, those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation. And so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him. Let us kneel in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts, confess our sins that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God. We confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. And almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O oh God, let our mouth proclaim your praise. And your glory all the day long. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen, hallelujah. God is the rock of our salvation. Oh, come, let us worship, hallelujah. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise, Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Um, Juliet? Uh, we, if you're on um, speaking, we cannot hear you. The psalm is taken from Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not Dr. Juliet, you've broken up. He redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with mercy and loving kindness. He satisfies you with good things and your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. So to anger and of great kindness. You want the death wish coffee? You want the death wish coffee? Uh, 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verses 9b to 14. If you remove the yoke from among you, the pointing of the finger, the speaking of evil, if you offer your food to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light shall rise in the darkness and your gloom be like the noonday. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your needs in parched places. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your needs in parched places and make your bones strong and you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters never fail. Your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt. You shall rise, you shall raise up the foundations of many generations. You shall be called the repairer of the breach the restorer of streets to live in. If you refrain from trampling the Sabbath, from pursuing your own interests on my holy day, if you call the Sabbath a delight and the holy day of the Lord honorable, if you honor it, not going your own ways, serving your own interests or pursuing your own affairs. Then you shall take delight in the Lord and I will make you ride upon the heights of the earth. I will feed you with the heritage of your ancestor Jacob for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A song of praise. Glory to you, Lord God, our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Good morning, St. Joseph. A reading from the letter of the Hebrews, chapter 12, verses 18 to 29. You have not come to something that can be touched in the blazing fire and darkness and gloom and a tempest and the sound of a trumpet and a voice whose words make the hearers beg that not another word be spoken to them. For they could not endure the order that was given. If even an animal touched the mountain, it shall be stoned to death. Indeed, so terrifying was the sight that Moses said, I tremble with fear. But you have come to Mount Zion, and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to the immutable angels 
in festal gathering and to the assembly of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven and to God, the judge of all and to the spirits of the righteous made perfect and to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant and to the sprinkled blood that speak a better word than the blood of Abel. See that you do not refuse the one who is speaking for if they did not escape when they refused the one who won them on earth, how much less, <clears throat> excuse me, will we escape if we reject the one who wants from heaven? At that time, his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised, yet once more, I will shake not only the earth, but also the heaven. This phrase, yet once more, indicate the removal of the sh what is shaken, that is created thing, so that what cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us give thanks by which we offer to God an acceptable worship with reverence and awe, for indeed our God is a consuming fire, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save, I who made the stars of
said I Lord I have heard you calling in the night I will go A reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke chapter 13, verses 10 to 17. Now, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues on Sabbath, and just then there appeared a woman with a spirit that had crippled her for 18 years. So she was bent over and was quite unable to stand up straight. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, woman, you are set free from your ailment. When he laid his hands on her, immediately she stood up straight and began praising God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, kept saying to the crowd, there are six days on which we work ought to be done. Come on those days and be cured, not on the Sabbath day. But the Lord answered him and said, you hypocrites, does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his donkey from the manger and lead it away to give it water? And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for 18 long years, be set free? from this bondage on the Sabbath day? When he said this, his opponents were put to shame and the entire crowd was rejoicing at all the wonderful things that he was doing. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning to all. On this day, we're looking at the Gospel of Luke and yet again, an encounter that Jesus has with one of the leaders of the people in the synagogue. We don't know if it's a Pharisee or a Sadducee, but we do know that it's a leader of the synagogue. And in addition to encountering this leader, she encounters a woman who has been sick for 18 years. Now think about it. Being sick for a day drives me crazy, let alone being sick for 18 years. And for 18 years, I'm pretty sure that this woman had been coming to the synagogue looking for healing, wanting to be healed from the leaders, from those who had the authority to pray over her, and nothing had happened. And he so chanced that she was able to encounter Jesus on this faithful day, on this in this moment in time in the synagogue. And so she did not ask Jesus to pray for her. She did not ask Jesus anything. All the whole entire encounter, encounter was Jesus acting on her behalf. She came to the temple, just like or the synagogue, just like Jesus. And Jesus saw her, saw her pain saw her fears, saw her agony, and without her saying one word in scripture, he was able to heal her and to cure her of her ailment that she suffered for 18 years. Now, one could argue that, you know, she's been suffering for 18 years, so one more day wouldn't have hurt her um, to be healed, and Jesus could have healed on a Saturday or a Sunday, but anything, any um, day but the, the day of rest. Yet, Jesus reminds us that we are able to do things when people are in need, 
it's not when we are when it's convenient for us that we heal and help other people but it's when it's when the need is greatest and in this moment her need was great and so jesus healed her despite it being sabbath despite him knowing that people will be arguing and grumbling about the fact that he did what he did and it's interesting right all the days that she's been coming the the leadership we didn't hear that the leadership had done anything or said anything or whatever it is we didn't hear that the leadership said okay we know that she comes on sun um to synagogue but you know on the other six days when we see her we, we've tried to heal her we heard nothing about what their efforts were to make sure that this woman who had been suffering for 18 years was was comforted but the moment that she was there was a grumble there was a complaint there was look at what jesus has done once again Sometimes we as human beings, when we see miracles happening or when we see good things happening, we sometimes we just grumble about it because maybe it's not the person you wanted to have as the have something good happen. Or maybe you wished it was you that Jesus was healing. We, we grumble so much about things that are at times to me irrelevant to our salvation, irrelevant to our relationship with God. We just grumble a lot. And there was no reason for this leader to grumble, but that he just could. There was no reason that for the leadership to grumble because the healing of this woman did not impact his leadership. He should have been grateful and praising God that Jesus would come to the synagogue that he is leading and was able to heal so many and heal and take that opportunity he should not have been have waited till Jesus put him to shame that you would do this for your animal on Sabbath, but you wouldn't do this for your fellow human being. I think in life that the more and more, the older I get, the more and more I realize that complaining is just an obstacle in the way of our blessings. That we complain more than we praise. God for the things that he has done, the blessings he has placed in the lives, not only in our lives, but in the lives of the people around us. We complain about what we don't have, what we want, what we need, what body parts ache this morning. I, when I woke up this morning, I was just like, Lord, my body hurts for reasons I don't understand. Instead of saying, Lord, thank you for waking me up with a body aching that I have breath to breathe this day. I think we need to look at our and the ways in which we live our lives. Do we want to live a life of complaint of, 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 or do we want to live a life of abundance and gratefulness and, and thankfulness of God and all the things that he blesses us with this day? Jesus pointed out the flaw in the leaders of the synagogue's um, debate that we shouldn't heal on Sabbath. It doesn't matter when God does the healing, as long as God does the healing. And that we should not complain that this person has a blessing over and against what we might have been blessed with, had or are, are being blessed with, but we can't see because we're so busy focusing on what the other has. Let us just give praise to God that we woke up this morning. Give praise to God that we celebrate another year of life this morning. Let us give praise to God that our children are doing the best that they can this morning, or that our spouse is doing the best that they can this morning. Let us give praise for every blessing that God has given us this morning, that we have another day of sunshine, that, you know, that this week we'll have some rain because we are going into a droughting season. Let us give praise for every single blessing that we get, no matter how small or how big. And then let us not look at the other and say, how come or why not me? Let us see what we can do to live one day, one complete day without complaining, but praising God over and over and saying thank you lord for healing this lady who's been suffering for 18 years thank you lord for all the things that you have blessed me with the miracles that i've been able to see over my lifetime thank you lord it may not be a perfect world but it's a world that you have gifted us with so let us look at the praising of god rather than complaining 
Amen. Yeah. We be, let us say together the nine seeing creed. <clears throat> we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, true God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Grant, O oh, merciful God, that your church, being gathered together in unity by your Holy Spirit, may show forth your power among all peoples to the glory of your name through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, the Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Let us then pray to the Lord saying, you, O oh God, are our hope. Incline your ear to us. O oh Lord, may your church take delight in your above all else. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness as we worship in your presence. May we faithfully keep the feast. You, O oh God, are our hope. Incline your ear to us. Give to the leaders of the nations, O oh Lord, compassion for the hungry. Satisfy the needs of the afflicted. May we satisfy the, with good things, show mercy to the poor and oppressed. You, O oh God, are our hope. Incline your ear to us. God, you are a con consuming fire. Your light rises in the darkness and our gloom becomes like noonday. Continue to make yourself known to us in your creation, in the stars of the night and the new light of the morning. You, O oh God, are our hope. Incline your ear to us. You call us, O oh God, into a great community of believers to join with angels and saints, with those you have made righteous, and with your son Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. We pray for our fellow Christians around the world especially those facing persecution. Protect and strengthen them. Have mercy, O oh Lord. You, O oh God, are our hope. Incline your ear to us. We pray for the healing of those who are spiritually and physically broken. 
May all who are troubled by the power of evil find freedom in the hands of your son. Help those in our community who suffer and do so in silence, especially those who suffer from mental and invisible illnesses. May they receive solace and the peace of your healing mercies. You, O oh God, are our hope. Incline your ear to us. Jesus, we pray for caregivers, healthcare workers, and family members. Grant them strength and courage to continue to care for those who cannot care for themselves. You, O oh God, are our hope. Incline your ear to us. O oh God, we pray for the people of the world. We pray for those affected by gun violence and hate crimes. We pray for the victims of unrest and war, refugees and innocents. We pray for victims of system systemic and institutional racism, sexism and homophobia, for victims of poli police brutality and police negligence. May your light of justice shine upon our world so that not only will we know better, but do better. You, O oh God, are our hope. Incline your ear to us. Almighty God, we pray for the future of our nation. Help vulnerable and marginalized people sustain themselves in the chaos of the current times. Lord, bless and guide our leaders that they may find a way to heal the decisiveness among our people. We pray for you to guide the consciousness of the people of this land, that they may love each other as they love themselves. You, O oh God, are our hope. Incline your ear to us. O oh God, redeem your life from the grave through the resurrection of Christ. We pray for those who have died in hope. May they internally be satisfied with good things. You, O oh God, are our hope. Incline your ear to us. And we pray for all of those celebrating birthdays and anniversaries. The Jones and Banfield families offer praise to God the Almighty in thanksgiving for Shirley Jones, who celebrated a birthday on August 19th. We give thanks for her love, guidance, and wisdom. May she continue to be blessed with good health and strength. Trisha Archer gives praise to the Almighty in thanksgiving for Althea Archer and Angelique Peters, who celebrated their birthday yesterday on August 20th. May God continue to bless them. Happy birthday. The Jones and Charles families offer praise to God the Almighty in Thanksgiving for Sandra Jones, who will celebrate a birthday on Tuesday, August 23rd. Happy birthday to you too. May God continue to bless her, given with love from mommy, Wyatt, and family. Sandra Jones give thanks to the Lord that she has been blessed with another rotation around the sun. She give thanks for good health, love, and sustenance. And chapter two begins on, um, sorry, chapter 52 begins Tuesday, um, August 23rd. May God continue to bless her. Oh God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray on your servants as they begin another year, grant that they may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen their trust in your goodness all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for the Byfield family, especially for Errol, who will undergo a medical procedure tomorrow on August 22nd. We pray that his doctors, nurses, and caregivers will be guided by the Holy Spirit and that the Lord give the Byfield family courage and strength 
as they support Errol in his illness. We pray for the Harper family who are all ill. May God comfort them, relieve their suffering, and give them strength to recover quickly. Um, Jennifer Barrett asks us to pray for her nephew, Odell Thompson, um, that he may swiftly recover. We pray that God touch Odell with his healing mercies. Wendy Riley asks for healing mercies for her cousin, Natalie Hunt Laviscount. May God comfort and heal Natalie swiftly. Sandra Jones asks us to pray for healing mercies for Lorna Charles. We pray that God offers Lorna swift healing and continued protections. Tabitha Parrington asks for traveling mercies for herself and her aunt Rosie. May the Lord shield them from any harm as they journey. And we pray for the people of our community and throughout the world who are ill with COVID or monkeypox. May God comfort them, give them strength, and help them recover quickly. We pray that Almighty God will guide our leadership in disseminating accurate information and providing equitable vaccines and care to all. And we ask that you pray for the following people and families and include them in your daily prayers. Janelle Adams, Daphne Aguero, Keisha Alexander, John Altadoc, Michael Anguria, Melissa Arrington Hubbard, Audrey Arthurs, Sonia Barton, Allison Brown Cunningham, Idris Bryan, Errol Byfield. Sorry, Rose Carrot, Anne Marie Chambers, Marina Chester, Percival Chester, Perpetua and Randolph Ellis, Yolanda Evans Humber, Karima Forbes, Fitzroy Gabadon, Claudette and Anthony Grant, The Harper Family, Darrell Holness. James Hunter, Norma Jarrett, Afua Johnson, Kim Trell Jones, Philip Jones, Pietra Jones, Noel Kong, John Lake, Eric Lewis, Sister Sheila Marie, Rosalind Maracu, Sandy Michael, Crystal Nurse, Kathleen Nurse Lewis, Barely Powerful, Hortense Reed, Chandra Robinson, Patricia Robinson, Shelley Rutherford, Sheila Sams, Joy Sanders, Rosa Segovia, Walter Simpson, Patsy Stevenson, Desmond St. Louis, Maureen Ty, George Upshaw, Marilyn Warwell, and Pat Winter. Heavenly Father, giver of life and health, Comfort and relieve your sick servants and give your power of healing to those who minister to their needs, that those for whom our prayers are offered may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in your loving care. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Yeah. 
And let us pray. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The spiritual communion in union, blessed Jesus, with the faithful gathered at every altar of your church, where your blessed body and blood are offered this day, we long to offer you praise and thanksgiving for creation and all the blessings of this life, for the redemption of this, the redemption won for us by your life, death, and resurrection, for the means of grace and the hope of glory. We believe that you are truly present in the Holy Sacrament, and since we cannot at this time receive communion, we pray you to come into our hearts, our souls, and our minds. Let nothing separate us from you. Let us serve you in this life until by your grace we come to your glorious kingdom and unending peace. Amen. Gracious and generous God, creator and giver of all that is good, we thank you for the many blessings. We acknowledge that, you, that all that we have is from you. We offer you thanks and praise for the beauty of the earth our work, our family, our loved ones, and all the gifts we have been given. You are with us always. In each dark hour, you are here. In each bright hour, you are here. Blessed by your grace, may we show gratitude by sharing what we have been given. By serving our brothers and sisters, we serve you. We remain ever grateful for your constant love the gift of your son, Jesus Christ, and the presence of your Holy Spirit with us. Amen. And let us say together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God. Father of all mercies, <clears throat> we, your unworthy servants, give you humbly thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by your, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, 
not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us pray for one another in the coming week. May God's Holy Spirit be greatly visited upon you all who have worshiped here today and upon our church family. If there is anger or pain in any of us, let it be left upon the altar. Gracious God, make us prayerful people. Teach us to look for your guidance in all our undertakings. May we see you this week in the face of every family member, stranger, and friend. May we know the wonderful peace and love of God. Share it with one another and tell it abroad. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand, I am tired, I am weak. Now we have our announcements. The Youth and Young Adult Festival, sponsored by the our borough president, Donovan Richards, will be Wednesday, August 24th from 
12 to 4 p.m. at Cable Park on Francis Lewis Boulevard. You do have to RSVP, which you will find it on our St. Joseph's website. Confirmation class has begun. Um, confirmation age is 12 and up. And if you, there's, this is the last week um, to join the class if you want to be confirmed this year. COVID. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> COVID-19 and monkey parks. Uh, we continue to listen to the news and know that these um, pandemic um, diseases are still there. So we want to make sure we wear our masks and wash our hands frequently. Um, anyone can contract monkeypox through direct contact with monkeypox rash, scabs, or bodily fluids from the person with monkeypox, touching objects and fabrics and surfaces that have been used by someone with monkeypox, or contacting it with respiratory droplets like coughing and sneezing. So we want to continue to keep our safe, ourselves safe by wearing our masks and washing our hands frequently. Okay, and, and the 22, 2022 Women's Day honorees, um, we're having our banquet September 18th on Sunday. Um, tickets are $100 for adults, $40 for children. The event is from 1 to 6 p.m. at Anton's, and you can reach out to Sandra Simpson or Ellen Sevilla Joseph for tickets. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, speech. So no, we have all of the honorees listed on the website. So um, we can if you just go to the events page on the website, just a reminder, all of the current events or upcoming events are listed there and all of the honorees for the in-person Women's Day celebration are there as well. And this is the continuation of the celebration that we have virtually in March. So I'm going to scroll through the honorees because there are a lot. Uh, yes, there are still tickets available for today's cruise, um, end of summer cruise, um, the Captain Lou fleet leaving from 31 Woodcliff Avenue, Freeport, New York. We leave um, sharp and on time and the tickets are $80 for adults, $40 for children, and there's still tickets available um, if you would like to go. That is all the end. That is all the announcements that we have for today. Please remember that in-person service for those who still who want to come to in-person service will be today at eleven o'clock at St. Thomas. As we always do, you may greet each other at this time. Good morning to all. Morning, everyone, and happy birthday to all of the Leos still celebrating birthdays. Good, Good morning, morning, everyone. And blessing to all. Everyone. Good morning, everyone, and thanks for the birthday wishes. I think we missed something in the chat room, Petra. Um, and that was from Mikey. Um, Mikey had said, good morning to St. Joseph's family. I want to thank you all for your love and support all these years. I am thankful to have such a great church family. And again, thank you. And that was from Mikey. He wrote it a little bit earlier in the chat. Good morning. Is it? Good morning. Good morning, St. Joseph's. Good morning. May God bless us all continuously. And may we look up to him for our healing. Always in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Good morning, all. Have a blessed week. Good morning to everyone. Good morning to everyone. Have a blessed and safe week.
Good morning, Mother Ellis. Glad to have you back. Okay, everyone, have a wonderful and blessed week. And um, we will see you next week. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.